Hey, what's going on? This is your host. I'm back on here with a new series of videos. So let's go ahead and move it forward here. No talking. This video here is titled MGTOW, The Blame Game. Now with this video right here, we're going to dive into what women say and what women do. Now this falls under the category of MGTOW for the educational purpose of such a man going his own way. Now with this video here, we're going to dive deep. The next wave of videos should be a little bit more hardcore and still watered down, all right? Because I don't have my website up and running where well, I can really say what the fuck I want to say without worrying about YouTube and Google's shit. You feel me? So with that out of the way, and that's the last small talking I'm going to do, let's get to this video here again. The blame game. Now, for many men that have been in relationships... You have seen the blame game and you may have experienced the blame game. Myself, I have experienced some of this blame game bullshit, shaming tactics that women do. And for the men that sign up for that role of being that provider in the traditional relationship sense, and you are going about it and you're being a typical breadwinner in your relationship, in your home, and you're doing it by the book, all right? See, that blame game starts because we know women always need attention. All right? They, and see, many men is not realizing this. When she say that you her boyfriend, no. You are the guy that she know is not going nowhere. And that's the category that she's putting you in. Yeah, she label you boyfriend, husband, baby daddy. But you are in a category in her little world of the man that's not going nowhere. He is my foundation. He is the concrete under the building. He is that solid structure in my life that, in a woman's mind, she can go out and fuck up and come back to you and cry and boo-hoo. And you're going to be right there to deal with her bullshit. And see, this right here carries a lot of weight for women, especially when they have kids with you or married. Let's see, they know you got ties with their ass and you just can't really get the fuck on like a dude just dating a woman. Because when a man date a woman and he finds she cheating, he gets the fuck on. He ain't got no ties with it. They ain't married. They ain't no kids. Bitch, I holler at your ass. Fuck you. You see what I'm saying? But when you are married to these bitches and, and you got kids by these hoes and they do that same fuck shit, then you got ties with their ass. You really got to deal with that fuck shit to a certain extent. Of course, you need a divorce and pay child support and get the fuck on either or. You feel me? But then when you look at that shit in hindsight, you you will realize that you wasted all your motherfucking time dealing with this shit. Alright? The blame game here is when women feel that they got you in the back of their pocket. And they use the excuse of, you are always busy. You're never there to get them attention. They got bored or lonely. They needed some affection. We was never happy anymore. I mean, the list can go on and on. On the reason why they cheat and creep, all right, while you out there. There's many men out there with stories that talk about how they do 10 and 12 hour days on a job, trying to bring home the bacon for this fictitious life that he's living with his wife, girlfriend, or baby mama. Pick a category, they all apply. And he's living that fake ass life while his wife is online seeking attention and approval from other men. And the blame game is this, because when you find out that she's cheating on your ass, and most men find out with clever ways, I mean, a real man knows when a woman's actions change. You know by her verbal or nonverbal communication. You also should learn by her body language and her actions. I think we know actions speak louder than words. You feel me? So when you study women, you know women. You know what they should do in a relationship. You know what they shouldn't do. All right? And women know themselves. They know they got attention from all the guys out there. Even when they married and booed up and got a hood, they don't give a fuck about that shit. Especially in today's time. That don't mean shit. Yeah, they got a husband and that's just a dude that he ain't going nowhere. But I still should be able to go play and do what I want to do on the low. And if you don't believe me, trust me. I got a lot of married women that's all in my phone. 
All right? I know. Do I judge you? I don't give a fuck. I don't judge no woman for what she do. Because, see, I know as a MGTOW man and as an alpha male, that whole scenario right there is not for me. I'm going to get condoms. I'm going to invite this bitch over my place. I'm going to fuck the shit out of her ass. Send her ass on the way. It's just that simple. With, with me, it is. Because I know she ain't good for shit. She cheating on her motherfucking husband. She ain't faithful. She bored. She lonely. She depressed that she got in the fucking marriage in the first place. She got all these goddamn kids. And she living a fictitious ass lifestyle. Yet she got her hand on the Bible talking about some amen, thank you, Jesus, ass nigga. You think I want to be with that bitch? No, I don't want to be with that bitch. No, I don't. You see what I'm saying? See, the blame game is when women try to reflect that shit on you. That it's your fault for the reason why they do what they do. It's your fault that I was cheating because you never spent time with me. You was always gone. And what the guy say? Well, I was at work trying to make a home for us, trying to better our life and stuff. There's a lot of men out here living that same fuck shit. With this video right here, you should recognize the blame game. If you are in a relationship and you watching this video and you kind of laughing like, man, that big talk, that's some bullshit. <laughs> Me and my wife, we happy. Well, yeah, for right now. But this video is going to be right here for your ass. When you start seeing the signs that your woman is cheating on your ass. She's backsliding on your ass. <laughs> She's coming home late now. Oh, she went and got that new perfume that just came out. She wasn't wearing it for you. You ain't fucked the pussy in almost two weeks. But she's wearing it today with a new dress she bought on a credit card. <laughs> that kind of fuck shit. All right? So while many men think this MGTOW is fake and we giving you fictitious game, we're giving you real shit. Well, at least I am. <laughs> I think you know my channel is a little bit more unique than the next motherfucker. You feel me? Real shit now. We know the blame game for what it is. I don't get caught up in women's blame game. There's no woman going to say, well, you was boring. You, that's the reason why I went to the next guy. I, I, you, you, no. Mm -mm. You did this. You did that. That's why I did this. That's why I do this. You was cheating. I started cheating. All that shit right there, it falls back on the man. It's amazing how women love to blame and use shaming tactics to make the man supposed to make the man feel guilty. And most simps do the shit. Now, I apologize for this video noise as we adjust this video and extend it out a bit. Again, most men feel guilty and what they do, some simp ass shit. They go and try to change themselves. They take less hours at work. They try to get a different schedule, spend more time with her, come home early, whatever the fuck they do. To try to make their white girlfriend, baby mama, feel like they putting in the effort now. That bitch don't give a fuck about you putting in no effort now. She got all this goddamn attention on social media and other dudes. You are that safety blanket for her ass. All right? That's all you are. And that's what most of these marriages are. I keep trying to tell men, pick any woman that you ever fucked in your goddamn life and ask yourself, not, not me asking you, ask yourself, in your own private time, is any one of them motherfucking females will be down for your ass if you was paralyzed, if you lose a job, if you had any kind of real major shit going on? Would any one of those bitches come through? Could any one of those females come through? Or are they just good for just fucking and sucking, small talking, and sending their ass on their way? I think you men know the answer to that shit. But we know women's shame and tactics. We know the blame game. It's always the man fault why women cheat, why women are unfaithful, why women got lonely and bored and commit adultery and then they got a child on the way outside the marriage for men that's married. If you are a baby mama, uh, she got bored with you and so she went and got her a new man. All right? It's always the man's fault in this shit when you're dealing with women all right? if you let them tell it. But with this video right here, I'm saying the blame game. Watch the signs with women. Because the minute you fuck up with they ass for all you men that love relationships and shit, you will see the shame and tactic that she's going to throw at your ass. All them arguments that she, you know, balled up and forgot about. You know, your next argument, she's going to throw all that fuck shit in your face. If you cheat, she's going to goddamn, oh, it's, I cheated because you cheated. 
I did this because you was doing it, et cetera, et cetera. You never at home with me. You always working. Well, that, that statement right there should tell a man a whole lot about a bitch. Because if a woman out here cheating on your ass because you always working, then that's not the motherfucking woman you ain't trying to build shit with. And you damn sure not trying to have no kids and marriage and all that other fuck shit. Because she's going to take your ass to the goddamn cleaners. All right? It's real game now. Now, get involved with these women if you want to. That's your choice. I'm not here to sway you one way or the other. I'm a MGTOW player, MGTOW dater with the MGTOW shield and mindset. Get that written down. So I understand what my motherfucking purpose is when I'm dealing with a woman. Introduce myself, small talk, meet and greet, fuck. Period. Alright? No if, ands, or buts. No stuttering either. You feel me? It's real nigga shit. Now to the next video, like I said, this new series of videos is going to be a little bit more amped the fuck up. Feel me? I catch you. It's your boy now. Solo mission.